So classically, when we look down the microscope at someone who has Parkinson's disease, they look at their brain, we can see the cells that are dying. These are the dopamine producing cells predominantly. And inside the cell, there seems to be this abnormal aggregation of protein. And that protein, when people have studied it, is called synuclein or alpha synuclein protein. But when it was first observed down the microscope by Frederick Levy, or Louis as we pronounce it today, it became known as the Louis body. So the pathological hallmark of Parkinson's disease and some of the related diseases such as multiple system atrophy and Louis body dementia, which are also have Lewy bodies in them uh, is this alpha synuclein and it's worth noting that alpha synuclein is a normal protein in the brain but it's a, it gets uh, goes rogue so it becomes tangled and I, I often say this is a bit like folding your clothes if you fold your clothes up nicely and put them into a drawer the drawer will work properly however if you tangle up those clothes and throw them into the drawer the drawer gets blocked up and doesn't work properly and this is what's happening inside the cells what we don't know is whether Lewy bodies or alpha synuclein is a good guy or a bad guy. The fact of the matter is that some people might say, well, these tangles, they're inside dying cells. They must be killing those cells. But the other thought is that perhaps the Lewy body or the alpha synuclein is trying to save the cell. It might try and tangle up and take some toxin out of the cell and in so doing, leave the cell alive but not functioning properly for so long, but ultimately there's cell death. And this is important because it forms the basis of some of our future therapies targeting Lewy bodies and alpha-synuclein.